Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETF. So this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, May 14, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, yesterday I said that we are most likely going to retest the 300 moving average. And yes, that is where we are heading to at this current stage. We're trading at uh, 98 and uh, the 300 moving average is right down here at uh, 95. So if you look at technical indicators, we can see that the MACD is very bearish. The same goes for the stochastic, same goes for the CCI and the RSI as well. But we are significantly oversold. So 300 moving average is most likely going to be the bottom here. And something tells me as well, if you look at the NASDAQ and most of the of the stocks, the major stocks that are basically a part of this ETF, uh, 300 moving average will most likely be where we'll round off and head back towards resistance. So it doesn't mean that we'll completely change and go back to the old time highs, which would be fantastic, which because that is a rally of uh, give or take 60% to the upside. So that would be a massive, massive rally but um, at this current age where that's probably not going to happen we'll mostly run into major resistance up here at the at the 200 moving average at 113 we're also significantly overstretched here so a pullback has been expected for quite some time and the 300 moving average most likely we the place where that will occur um, we may well stay here for a while before before we rally but break below the 300 moving average then that could basically mean that we'll fall significantly further uh, in this ETF. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has a rally today. We reached the middle of the Bollinger Band and then we just shot up to the air. We're up nearly 2% and uh, at this current stage, it looks like we are going back towards the previous highs. So this fall here has basically turned around and we are basically, it's a very good indication that we are basically going to go much higher in this in this ETF. If you look at technical indicators, they are not that positive. Um, if you look at MACD, it's uh, bearish still or flat. The RSI is fairly bullish. The CCI is flat. The stochastic is very bearish indeed. We could rally up towards the top of the bullish band. That is a rally of roughly 1.5% to the upside before we run into major resistance. 200, uh, the 20 exponential has offered major support in the past and has yet done that again. So let's look at VTI. So also VTI has rallied. We hit the bottom here at just underneath the 50 moving average. We were significantly outside of the bullish band here and a, and a pullback was expected. So we did fall roughly 4.4% and today we are rallying 1.3% to the upside. Technical gears, they are still fairly bearish. So it may take two, one or two trades before, days before the MACD and the stochastic basically turn around here, but the RSI is becoming flat. We are, it looks like we're going to at least go towards the middle of the bullish band, and that's a rally of 1.47% to the upside, just above the 20 exponential. And if that occurs, they will mostly also go to the very highs. The CCI is bearish, stochastic, the MACD is bearish, and so is the stochastic, stochastic at this current stage. So let's look at MCHI. So we continue to fall towards the 300 moving average, and that is probably going to be our final destination down here at the 75. So we did fall all the way down to the 70, 76.727, and then we pull back a little bit. We're getting really overstretched there, significantly oversold. So we may see a day where this rally significantly before we go towards the 300 moving average. Technical indicators are look are very bearish indeed. Most likely, uh, resistant will be the 20 exponential, which is up here at 80. So let's look at IVB. So IVB hits bottom here at the 20 now the 50 moving average and then has a rally today. We were significantly outside of the bullish band yesterday, we uh, and therefore we also continue rally. So most likely finds resistance up here at 417, the middle of the bullish band, but then we also have break and broken the 20 exponential moving average, and after that we may as well go to the very highs. The 50 moving average has offered a massive support, so if we fall down from here, then the 50 moving average will most likely hold. Technically, they still are very bearish indeed, all of them.
except for the RSI, which is kind of flat at this point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.